Anything? It's just voicemail. Where do you think he stayed last night? <laughs> do I look like I'm psychic? Oh, he can't come far. He took his overnight bag. Should have been you that left, not him. I thought you were on my side. Oh, not now, not after this. You, my dear, are on your own. But you know how much I love him. Yeah, well, sometimes love isn't enough, so maybe you should get your bag of tricks out. Sprinkle a bit of magic. Failing that, pack your bags. Ah. Sleepy had decided to get up, has she? Are we going somewhere? Maybe for a walk later. Now, why don't you sit down and make you some pancakes? Is Daddy back? Uh, not yet, no. <laughs> Why are you crying? She's not. And anyway, what she got to cry about? So stop being a silly Billy. You sit down and eat. <laughs> stop snivelling and get your act together. You need to find my son and bring him home today. Otherwise, your bags really will be on the doorstep. Too long. The witch, witch looked just like Grandma in the panto. <laughs> I thought somebody wanted the loo. So, did you find him? Yep. And uh, where is he? I mean, uh, parking the car, having a hot shower, making himself a nice cup of tea. He's uh, he's at the B and B. You just missed him. And is he at the B&B &B indefinitely? I don't know. Tricky. He did say he might be back later. Well, let's hope for your sake he is. Cos if he isn't, I'll be helping my son secure full custody. Eat up your veggies. I'm not hungry. Oh, you won't get any pudding. Where's Daddy? You said he would be here by now. Mm. Perfect. A little late, I must admit, but just in time for dinner. Sit down, I'll get you a plate. I've eaten. Oh, well, at least have a drink. I don't want anything. Hey, look, why don't you go upstairs? I'll be up in a minute. Why can't you come now? Because I need to talk to Mummy and Grandma first. Go on, please, I'll read you a story. OK, but don't be long. OK, go on. Glad to see you've calmed down. I wouldn't say that. I'm certainly feeling more clear about things. Right, well, let's all sit down and thrash this out. No, thanks. I want to say what I have to say and then go and spend some time with the only person in the world who I actually care about at the moment, and that's my daughter. Look, darling, Andrea's been a fool, however... You're as bad as her, Mum. In fact, you're probably worse. You covered for her. You're my son. I was trying to protect you. I don't need protecting. I need honesty. Look, I wanted to tell you. But then the miscarriage happened and you were so utterly devastated by it. I, I knew I couldn't add to your misery, so I reluctantly agreed to keep silent. You never do anything reluctantly, Mum. Well, I did in this instance. Not that I'll get any thanks for it. I don't understand. I mean, I thought today... Oh, I know what you thought, Andrea. You thought you'd done sufficient to reel me back in. No. No, that is not true. So, why are you here? To explain what's going to happen next. Which is what, exactly? I am only moving back in because of Millie. As soon as I find us a place to live, we'll be moving out. In the meantime, I want you two to keep your distance. Because as far as I'm concerned, I want nothing more to do with either of you. 